Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Dark Deity on Steam with me, Jelenon, at Lunar Nebula Gaming. So, let us continue where we left off. Hey, good to be out of the mists, isn't it? <sighs> Definitely. The clear skies seem to have Ford on the bum a little bit, which I think everyone is appreciating. How are you holding up? Well enough, all things considered. That's good to hear. You've been through a lot these past few weeks. More than I signed up for when I enrolled at the Academy, that's for sure. Hmm. Uh, but that's always how it is, isn't it? What? How do you mean? It was never like that before. No, but in all the stories we ever heard growing up, a good hero always gets more than he bargains for. I guess, but in stories, you always know the hero can handle it. Hardly. Not necessarily. Didn't you ever study the great Sun Elf tragedies at the Academy? So my story is a tragedy. That's reassuring. <laughs> no, life is different, of course. More like being the author and the main character at the same time. I hardly feel that in control of anything. Fine, maybe it's more like being one of several authors. Mm. Do you think he knows we're coming? The necromancer? Whoever that was, on the battlefield. I think he expects to see you again. And I think he'll be better prepared. No kidding. I think so too. In fact, I'm sure of it. Though I can't quite explain why. Well then, the only thing to do is be more prepared for him than he is for us. Eh, your father would be proud. <sighs> I am flattered to hear those words from your mouth. It's probably as close to his approval as I'll ever get. That's not true, and you know it. Perhaps. And it seems we could both benefit from giving ourselves a little more credit for our accomplishments. Perhaps. Well, I think I'm going to turn in. Ford needs me on deck bright and early tomorrow. Sounds good. And Garrick, I just wanted to tell you, I'm really grateful you're still here, after everything. Huh. You know, I get these moments sometimes that make me feel like the four of us are right back at the Academy. Like nothing has changed. I know what you mean. I wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't either. <laughs> well, I'll leave you to enjoy the view. Beautiful, isn't it? But don't stare too long. I wouldn't want to wake up and find out you'd fallen overboard to be captured by wandering alley with fear. <laughs> Didn't you say you were turning in? <laughs> right. I like how Elias and Sia were in the background. Because it's a cramped little ship. Hey, would you look at that? The priest lady finally looks up from her rocks to take in the sea. <sighs> you really are the worst, Ford. What are you still around for anyway? Aren't you going to use us to extort your debtors and beyond? Yeah, I better get paid. Yeah, well, the financing from your beloved order should just about cover things. Besides, I think you guys are starting to like having me around. I would want to make anybody sad. No, just irritated apparently. <laughs> only you, your holiness. <sighs> hey look, dolphins! See how they breach one after another? I read once that this sometimes inspires the sailors' stories of sea serpents. Oh, trust me. Well, you've seen the real thing. You can tell the difference. Wow. I've never seen anything like that. They're majestic. Now, what in... What is this? That appears to be avian excrement. Ugh. Cursed birds. Yeah, that might be bad news for your robe, but it's good news for us. We can't be too far from shore. How far do you reckon? With winds like this, not more than a day. Say, Sarah, you sure your guys will take good care of old Humpback? It seems like we might be gone a while. I couldn't live with myself if anything happened to her. Of course. Your ship will be safe in Aramor, Ford. You have my word. Uh... I just wish Aramor wasn't so far from Kirch. It'll be weeks before we get there. On the bright side, that's less than what we've spent on the ship. It's just traveling on foot, like criminals. It's completely different. It is, but this is important. My contact will help us get to the bottom of who's behind all this. Mm. I know. Nothing beats the sea, huh, kid? We won't be fugitives forever, Alden. Once we've secured the aspects and stopped whatever is afoot, all of Adelia will know what we've done. They'll understand. If by they, you mean Beric, I hardly think he'd develop a sudden inclination for mercy if he's still king after all of this. We'll see. He might be in need of a good general. Let's, uh, keep that in mind. In the depths of Coeli Sumash's temple, Irving meets the god himself. 
After passing the trial of Sol, Guerlain Sumash entrusts Irving with the power of a huge trove of aspects. The party departs from the mist safely, headed back to Ethne. After the ardor of their voyage to Varoa, spirits are low. Each knows that a difficult journey lay ahead of them. They head for Kirch, where Vesta has an order contact who can set them up and give them the lay of the land. For some inexplicable reason, Faust continues to follow along. I bet Faust is the guide. But I don't. Okay, so Faust was a cleric. Oh, so we get another healer. So I like the Guardian, I think, the most. Acolytes seem to kind of suffer in a number of ways, but what's chaotic energy? Ooh, give people 8% crit? Yeah, okay. Guardian, I think that's clear. Anything else? Defense is increased by a missing health percentage. That also seems good for survivability. You don't get much fortitude. Hmm. Could get increased dodge by our power. Inquisitor honestly seems like it just doesn't work too well. I always forget that after healing we get more accuracy. But I really do like the garden, so we will go with that. Alright. Irene. That's a giant claymore slash Zvayan or something. Big sword. The prodigal priestess returns. It's good to see you, Vesta. And you, Irene, though I wish the circumstances were different. Well, comes with the territory. Tavern Chatter says you and your friends here set off across the sea. Never to return, I would hope. Depends on who you ask. Would you mind introducing yourselves? I feel like a rat in the steam house right now. I am Irving Sildarin of Brookstead. Very well. Maeve Laverin, Grand Inquisitor for the Mystic Council of the Expanse. Lincoln Volvasaw, former captain in the Delian army. Hmm. Sarah Rowe, third in line for the Iramoran throne. Wait. So, let me get this straight. The grandson of the Order's Grandmaster, right hand of Delia's former commander, the likely future Queen of Aramor, and the Mystic Council's favorite Inquisitor. That about cover it? That's correct. Favorite is a stretch, but you're correct for the most part. I was hoping you could catch us up on what we've missed in our absence. You might as well get comfortable then. I've been doing my best to track the one you had warned me about before your departure. The necromancer? Hard to be sure. Well, him too. Turns out there are a lot of shadowy figures traipsing about Delia causing havoc these days. The strangest thing is that everything worth tracking seems to operate out of Sosher. Which to me means one of three things. Either Varric's spies haven't noticed, haven't been able to stop it, or been told not to stop it. I know Varric. If he caught wind of an unchecked conspiracy, he'd be tearing the country apart piece by piece to root it up. Well, he is. I'm just not sure the two are related. Hmm. What do you mean? He's been accelerating timelines and work schedules for every construction project in Delia, most notably the aqueducts. <sighs> He's destroyed several villages in its path and has conscripted their villagers for indentured labor. <sighs> That's cruel. The purpose of a king is to protect his people, not use them to advance his own glory. Are we about to go full metal alchemist here, where he's making some giant magic symbol with the aqueducts? You've met the man, Irving. He's not who he once was. Please continue, Irene. Thousands of others who feel as Irving does have been imprisoned or indentured. They're reopening rural prisons that haven't been touched in decades. <sighs> That's worse than we thought, especially for the common folk. It seems no one is safe from Varric's wrath. That much is certain. This entire country is at its tipping point. I wish I had more information for you, but I can't find so much as a word on the necromancer. What of the other sorcerer, the one that wiped out the armies at Swift Harbor? Every scrap of intel on that day points back to your group. Were you not responsible? No, we were not. That's quite troubling. We're back to square one, then. What news of the war? Stall for the moment. Neither king seems in any particular hurry to lose the other half of their army. I never imagined it would come to this, but King Varric strikes me as the most promising lead at the moment. Hmm. It's unlike him not to investigate these occurrences. It's possible he's working with this sorcerer, or the necromancer, or worse, both. What about this prodigy you mentioned back in Shadowborn? Care to elaborate? I think not. I wouldn't know how to, and I certainly wouldn't be authorized to if I did. It's not important, Lincoln. Not right now. <coughs> We're going to have to go through Varric to get to whoever's behind this either way. We might as well make our peace with that. 
Irving is right. Right now that whatever Maeve knows about this prodigy doesn't matter until we're ready for it. How do we get started? First things first, we'll need a base of operations. We can sort out the rest from there. Any suggestions, Lincoln? You know better than anyone where Varric's men would be looking for us. I do know one place they dare not go. It's not far from here, actually. Probably the former rebels, I know. You speak of the Marrow. If you know of this place, you know it's best not to discuss it further until we arrive. We will scare everyone half to death. Unless you have an alternative suggestion. No. You're already scaring me, Lincoln. But it seems we have little choice. I trust your judgment. Irene, thank you for your diligence. Your service does you great honor. Honor is nice, but it won't put me up at the Platinum Pony. As you will. You'll receive your payment from the Order soon enough. In the meantime, leave no stone unturned. Farewell. I'll do what I can. Farewell. Hopefully we'll meet again soon. Named character. You might join my party. But probably not. Okay. Oh, we have 9,000 gold. Okay. Well, I have no level 4 weapon token yet. And I'm curious to see what Meteor looks like. Not gonna lie. But first, Faust, you are new. But you have no bonds yet. Aha, see you in Garrick. Who are apparently getting along better than Garrick and Sloan at the moment. Did you really mean everything you wrote in that letter, Garrick? It's not like you to get all serious. Hmm. Look, I don't want to get all sappy or anything. I did. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> sappy? Garrick, it was beautiful. I don't want this to change what we have. We have fun, and I like that. I don't know what else I want out of this right now. Really? That's exactly what a girl wants to hear, you airhead. I knew this was a bad idea. Can you not? No, it wasn't. You're just not used to ever doing anything serious. We can work through that part. Just because you've told me how you feel doesn't change anything between us. You're the one making it weird right now. What a joke. I'm making it weird? You practically baited me into writing it with all your talk about how relationships never take things seriously or do. Are you serious right now? I was kidding. That was a joke. Because we have a healthy relationship and we never take anything serious. Right. Oh. Well, how am I supposed to pick up on that? <laughs> you have this really interesting thing in your skull. I think it's called a brain. You could probably try and use that. It was a nice letter, though. Right. Can we move away from the letter already? Aren't you curious if I've been writing one of my own? I wasn't until just now. Well, I'm not. Great. This is fun. But now I think I will. Equity is important, right? You make a fool out of yourself, I make a fool out of myself. It'll be great. You're really something. You really don't have to do that. Oh, I really think I do. It's going to be a blast. I'll read it out loud to the whole crew. I will never help you with one of your schemes again if you do that. Oh, it's cute that you think you ever had a choice. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, they get along just fine now. Uh, okay. Here we go. Caius and Sana. Caius, I don't think I've ever asked you. Where were you recruited? In Concordia. Hmm. Did you grow up there? Born and raised, as far as I know, that is. What do you mean? I never met my parents, and the only man who ever took me in died before I could think to ask how he found me. So really, I could have been born anywhere. <sighs> I understand. It sounds like you had a difficult life. I made my way. Concordia is a busy place. There was always a way to make myself useful. I had the chance to visit once and found it very much as you described. I was struck by the crowds. Uh -huh. Yes, I remember that day. I was there when you arrived. <laughs> Were you really? Caius, why didn't you mention anything? I figured it was a more important memory for me than it was for you. You probably paid lots of visits to different towns, and I was just one more face in the crowd. Actually, visits like those were quite rare. I only made it out there after a month's worth of lobbying, and Darius was still furious when he got wind of the trip. That seems odd. Most of the locals sang the praises of the crown for months after your visit. Why would that have upset the king? Because the visit itself was a sort of formal acknowledgement of the poverty which existed in Aramor. <sighs> I see. But ignoring a problem does nothing to solve it. Acknowledging it, on the other hand, is the first step to addressing it. Darius obviously felt differently. I was not permitted another visit for some time. I had no idea. For many of us, your visit was the most exciting event of our lives. Well, I'm glad to know the trip at least had a positive impact on the locals. Well... In light of what you've shared, you were brave to make it. You gave hope to a great many. Thank you, guys. Let's continue that work, shall we? As you commanded. Sounds like a plan. First with barbecue, I demanded. Okay. 
How many bonds do we have? We, this will probably be another bonds episode, let's put it that way. <laughs> okay, Orima. And Benji. Orima the Sonari. This is absolutely unreal. I take it you've heard of me. Nothing less than the best. From Sarah, yeah. Sounds like where you come from. You're the best. The arena. It's some assertion, but I was the longest reigning champion in the arena. Before my exile. Please clap. Impressive. We didn't have an arena in Red Hill, but if we did, I would have been the same. Just to give you a sense of my background. I see. So you're a man who enjoys a good challenge, then. Never turned one down. Then it's a good thing we share this road. There's no telling what we'll face from one day to the next. That's what's so exciting about all this traveling we're doing. Growing up in Red Hill, training day in, day out. I never knew the world was so big. Things change. And no matter how much of it you've seen, it's still bigger. Terrazeo is as alive as its inhabitants. No place is ever the same on the second visit. Mm. I've never thought about that, but you're absolutely right. Whoa. Sit with that. It should last you a while. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Arima, I'm having trouble getting you more bonds, aren't I? Hmm. I still need you to talk to all of them. This Sloan. Nobody up here. Mm -hmm. Monroe. What in the black abyss did you get me into, Balmyron? Oh, come on. Look, it's not my fault we went from investigating artifacts to communing with gods. How was I supposed to know? <sighs> I don't know, but I don't know that I'm interested in this return to Delia. I was perfectly happy leaving for the duration of the war. I think we're about to be in the middle of that war, whether we like it or not. I'm sure of it. Indeed. Having second thoughts? Getting cold feet? Monroe Val Buren, a coward. Ugh. Oh, would you shut your filthy trap for longer than five seconds? Fool. Only a fool would experience what we have and walk the plank now. No matter what happens, we will be on the cusp of history. If I want power, it's here. If I want to do good for the world, it's here. Guess I'll state the obvious. And if you want a place in the history books? Right. Am I so transparent? <laughs> Only to those who have harbored the same thoughts in the past. So you don't think me to be shallow? You're not half bad. I know you to be shallow, you dolt. That's why we get along. <laughs> you wound me. I can see it now. I'm fading away. My ego. Give it a rest, Hotshot. Seems like they get along pretty well. You know, I could really see the appeal in a man who communes with the gods themselves. It could have been any one of us. Guess I'll state the obvious. I hope you'll excuse me if I don't believe Benji would have answered everything the right way. You never know. Say what you will about Benji. The guy just keeps on winning. If you're referring to corn asking competitions and measurements of brute strength, yes. He wins more than anyone I've ever met. Did you come by for something, or was that it? Just wanted to give me the one-liner. <laughs> I'll admit, sometimes I don't come in with more of a plan than the one-liner. You've got me there. You don't believe that any more than I do. <laughs> God help me, I've been seen through. Ah, the pure object horror. All right, settle down. Can you just level with me for once? What did you come by for? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I guess I'm curious about what it was like. The presence of Coley's Mash, I mean. Truthfully? All the stories speak of this presence, or aura. I still don't know what I was actually seeing in there, but I felt neither of those things. Oh, come on. That's anticlimactic? Don't get me wrong. It was exhilarating, terrifying, incredible. A whole mix of emotions. But it was just a voice. I don't think he was really there, you know? Or maybe that's just what gods are. Maybe there is no presence. I highly doubt the stories we were told as children about the gods are accurate. Maybe. I'm trying not to dwell too much on it. It couldn't have been any of us for the record. You're not half bad. You're the best of us, Irving. You may not want to hear that, but it's true. You hold the torch. We should get some rest. Irving. Okay. Monroe, it's nice to finally meet you. Explain. Why? It's good to see a familiar face. Makes me nostalgic for home. Ugh. Familiar face? I haven't the slightest clue who you are. Huh? What? We've lived in the same district for ten years. I saw you around all the time. Ugh. Not pleasant to think I had stalkers and sojourn. Though perhaps unsurprising. I mean, you wear gyms all over the place, man. Not even. Stalker? You bought dyes from my parents' shop at least a hundred times. Ah, you're the dyer sprat. I don't recall ever entering the shop myself. All right, your servant bought from the shop a hundred times. 
You mean to tell me you never even came in? Naturally. I can't imagine why I'd want to. Thanks. You know, I've heard quite a few stories about you. <sighs> no good. Back to the stalker bit. Funny, we've only been speaking a moment and it's already getting old. Uh, memories. I wasn't stalking you. Half the nobles in Sojourn came through my parents' shop. I heard all sorts of things. Well then, I'd imagine you would have heard I don't endeavor to spend my time with commoners. Uh -huh. I have. I had hoped the rumors were overplayed in that regard. Hardly. I stoked those rumors myself. Why was that all? If you have to ask, you wouldn't understand. May I be on my way, or will you follow me and watch from the shadows? Definitely. Fine. Be on your way. I guess I was wrong thinking you'd want to hear what Joyce Valtira had to say about you. Explain. Joyce? Tell me now. We're a long way from Sojourn, Val Buren. Maybe ask nicely, and I'll tell you. Fool. You've wasted more than enough of my time already. Oh, dear. Monroe, he either gets along decently well with people or just absolutely crashes and burns. Hey, bud. How's your head? Hmm. Why? Why? Something wrong with it? <laughs> How much time you got? I'm lost. For what? To talk? Don't worry about it. Just want to make sure you didn't jumble anything around back there at the trial of the soul. You know, when you tried that whole Benji smash thing? Yeah, I remember. Who would have thought? Hey, that's a good sign. I really thought that was going to work. I bet you did. Well, if you start to feel your head throb, don't try to sleep it off. Go see Marin, and she'll patch you right up. Hey, thanks! Thanks, Bianca. I appreciate you looking out for me like that. You're a good friend. What now? Benji, whoa. I mean, it's nothing, buddy. Really, but yeah. Happy to lend a hand when I can. That's what it's all about, right? Yeah, I'm glad you taught me that. Not even. I hardly think you learned all that from me. It's simple. Well, you remember what you said before about being on the same team and protecting each other. Isn't that pretty much the same thing? Hmm. Yeah, I guess it is. Nothing less than the best. That's worth something, then. I'm on a great team. The best of the best. And when you're the best, there's no one else quite like you. I'd say that's pretty lucky. It is lucky. And worth something. Here's the best team, then, Benji. May we play to win. <laughs> Is it any other way to play? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Benji's always great. Hmm, Corbin. I'm glad we were able to track you down in a timely manner, Corbin. From the tone of your letter, things seemed quite urgent. Come again? Did they? Forgive me. That must have simply been my excitement bleeding through. Hmm. Oh, I see. Well, you're lighter on your feet since I saw you last. Have you been training? Not exactly. I did have to improvise my way out of a couple scuffles since our last meeting. Highwaymen? <laughs> I wouldn't afford them the compliment of that title. No ruffians more like it. Tossing my scrolls onto the road, rummaging around for something of value. Any one of those texts would have sold for more gold than they'd ever hoped to find if they'd been able to read them. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that, Corbin. It must have been traumatic. Is there any risk of them discovering the document's worth and coming back for more? Oh no, dear Sarah. Not a chance. I made quite certain of that. Well played. I'm impressed. Sounds like you've made a real rogue of yourself. Yes, well, chasing down answers to your inquiries is me spending more time in the field than I'm accustomed to. I'm certainly grateful I won't be chasing down our remaining leads alone. Surely not. No, that you won't. For better or for worse, we're here to stay now. I'm sure of it. For better, I expect. All right, so that's an old one. Brooke, I have to ask a favor of you. You can't be serious. That's not something you want to hear from your employer. Of course. All paid and part of the job description, I assure you. All right, let's hear it. <gasps> My sister's abilities have improved quite rapidly of late, in part because she's been consistently testing her limits. While this has its advantages, I do worry she may soon find those limits. If you can, keep an eye on her and stay close. She may need a hand if she gets herself into trouble. Hmm. And what about you? I'm not beyond needing help now and again, but I try not to stray far from those who might provide it. Fine. There. All right. I can do that. <laughs> That's it? What, did you want me to draft up a contract? <laughs> no, I just... I guess I expected more resistance. You're the boss. It's just like they say. Don't cut off the hand that pays you. I don't think people say that. <laughs> we don't know the same people. Hmm. No, I suppose we don't. Anyway, thank you. I feel a lot better about Samara knowing you're looking after her. Whatever you say. That's what I'm here for. Irving. Your friends seem to trust you very much, Irving. With their lives, even. I'm sure they have good reason to. The Academy trained us all to be leaders as well as soldiers. And they trained you well. 
I appreciate that. <sighs> Were you always so eager for war with my people? No, I'm not eager for it even now. A soldier should never be eager for war or peace. Hmm. Only eager to follow commands? Well, an army without obedience is not an army. It would be a raiding party at best, or a mob. Some armies aren't so unlike mobs. Your own kingdoms are better than that. What makes you so sure? They stood down the moment you gave them an order. Their obedience to you saved our lives. And what if I had asked them to tear you limb from limb? <laughs> then I suspect they would have obeyed as well. It's not a pleasant thought, but you would never do that. Because someone has, in turn, ordered me not to? No, but you're still practicing a type of obedience. You're obedient to your heart, in a way. Of course. I can live with that. I think that's what I'm trying to say, actually. Our world would be better to prioritize a higher form of obedience. If it makes the world better, I'm all for it. Hmm. Yeah, okay. We're done there. Helena. Ah, she wasn't even in combat. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Did you find it strange at all, returning to Varroa? No stranger than the times themselves. Things looked changed somehow, in the Eisen's Hope especially. The garden seemed overgrown, and the shoreline was different than I remembered. It is willed. The seasons turn, and the lungs of Terzale breathe with no regard for mortal affairs. <sighs> You're right. I guess it just goes to show how much time has passed. For me, less so. Did you have any desire to visit home while we were there? I know you weren't so close with your family, but is there no one you'd like to see again? I wonder. Perhaps there is one. I had a friend at the monastery, a mentor. She had resided there for some time when I arrived, and remained after I left. Mm -hmm. What was her name? Naira. She was wise and gentle. I'm sure she was, especially if you thought so. Have you ever considered visiting her? No. No, I cannot return. Not even to the island. It is forbidden for one who has heard the call of the gods, and as you observe, things change of their own accord. It's a delusion to think one can return to times past. As you will. I suppose it is, but sometimes it's a happy delusion. I don't understand. I don't see the use for such things. Well then, consider yourself lucky. You seem to have made your peace with the truth of things, Helena. I admire that. And I, your courage and fidelity. You have much to teach yourself. Hmm. How does the saying go? To the eager student, life is a perpetual teacher. Something of that spirit. That's good enough for me. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Brooke and Samara. Ah, maybe they'll talk about what Sarah and her just talked about? Hmm. Brooke, why are you standing like that? Got a problem with how I stand now? You're hurt. Is it the left leg or the right one? Samara, I'm fine. Hmm. Hold still. Did you hear a word I said? Technically, I did. There, how's that? Thank you. Better. Good. Why are you so stubborn? You can't be serious. I'm the stubborn one? I should have known. Yes, you are. Our enemies don't care who hired who, Brooke. They just as happily bring down any of us. We all have to rely on each other. All of us. I understand that. I just thought I could walk that one off without bothering you. Well, look how that turned out. Yes, clearly I failed terribly. <laughs> That's right. Next time, just tell me, will you? Consider it done. <laughs> nice. Okay. Here we are. Let's save before I forget. Okay. We are pretty good on time. I think we have time to go ahead and um, shop until we drop. We took a lot of damage to our wonderful people last time. Do I care about Faust? Yeah, we'll uh, upgrade at least his pickaxe, probably. Hmm. We also have something in our inventory. Oh, the aspects. That's right. True speed doubled when below 30% HP. Huh. That might be really good for our reveries. Malice is suffering. Crit increased by 30%. Defense and fortitude halved. Uh, if Elias wasn't a half tank kind of guy already, yes, but... Uh, do we though? Maybe we do. Yalom's heritage. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Mastery increased by 20%. Oh, okay. Uh, who's really good with mastery? 
Maybe we want that on one of our blunt damage people, because they have a hard time hitting people anyway. Aspect of Vengeance. Hit rate is always 50%. Power increased by 50 oh. So, if we had another Strider, that would be cool. Because Relentless and the fact that they're so fast, that feels like it could work. But it's such a gamble. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so that's interesting. Aids Cho. 80% resistance to fire magic. So Helena doesn't need that. Hmm. But one of our leather wearers, like Sia, maybe we give that to Sia since we use her as a dodge tank all the time anyway, and fire magic is good against leather. Hmm. Yeah, because Kathir's promise. You know what? That helps her do some more damage, but. It's chill, we'll do that. But now. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, where else was I? Menos Fury. Because Bells Rumble. Ah, 80% resistance to storm magic. Which, if I remember correctly, was also good against leather, weirdly. I think. Swaps defense and fortitude. Hmm. Huh. huh. Amadeus's Glade. Aspect of the Forest Fortitude plus 10 with no adjacent allies. Okay, so that would make Helena ridiculous. But I think we give that to one of our duelists, like Ford or um, Ren. Ren, 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 Ren. I think we give that to Ren for now. Because that makes him even better as a duelist. Hmm, Seraphel's Sight. Attacks mark enemies. Ooh, making them take more damage. Uh, hmm. So yes, we make her even more of a marker. Attacks mark enemies, there we go. So now she doubly marks enemies. We could give this to somebody else, like, I don't know, Lincoln? Elias? Hmm. Spirit, so there's Samaran's Shade. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so who do we not want to get targeted? Alden? Alden, maybe. Hmm. Then again, he also destroys people. Sophia is a maybe on that one. Hmm. Irving has Hecleon's pride. Uh, we could give it to one of our priests. Healing power increased. Who is Vesta? All the units within two tiles increase damage by 5%. I think we switched that one out. For some Marin Shade. Bonded units. I do like that one on Lincoln so far. Bonded units. Mm. Uh -huh, you have nothing right now. Let's give her Kassara's Blaze. That makes her even better at dealing damage. We could give that to Alden. He currently has uh, none of that. Hmm. We could swap his defense and fortitude. That's an interesting idea. Since he's usually attacking adepts and things. Hmm. It would make him pretty weak to mages, though. Huh. Jono's Stupor. Dodge reduced by 60%. Damage and uh, defense and fortitude increased by 10. Maybe that's what we want on Lincoln. Just don't dodge anything, just block everything. That's probably better on our Bolt Boy, though. Monroe. We'll do that. We'll try that. Hmm. We'll try that on him. That might be better on Irving, but I think Irving, with his high amount of HP, is already a thing. Uh, we could also give Irving Vosh's Sanguination. That's an interesting idea. Lincoln has a lot of HP. So does Thalonel. Hmm. He doesn't usually kill. Let's get rid of Village Mars Charge on him. Solaric's Rally. 
Hmm. Attacking and defeating enemy heals near my allies for 10% HP. That's pretty good. Aspect of Peace, 80% resistance to holy magic. Hmm. And Kara's Glow. Aspect of the Moons. Luck Depleted to increase power, dodge, and true speed. Wait a second. Wait a second. See ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. Huh. What does that do to you? I mean, that makes her dodge even better, right? Okay. Wow, he has a lot of holy water. That's interesting. Hmm. So Faust is a guardian. Uh, we probably want you to have resistance to magic of some sort. Mm, increase the damage by 5%, that might still be good. Defense and strength, that might be good on somebody. Who do we want to give more strength or defense to? We could give somebody even more defense by moving their strength around. Like Orima. Let's try that, in a less scale. Okay, that might work. Makes him super tanky. For those plate armored people that he can hit pretty hard. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go back. Izzin's Hope. Hey, we're heading into that place. That's, yeah. Quintare's Quill swaps mastery and luck. Oh, that would be pretty good, I think, if we don't care about mastery on somebody. Darlena's Kiss swaps 50% of crit and power. Oh, that's interesting. So those are um, advanced stats, or whatever you want to call them. Hmm. Hmm. So if you go high on crit or high on power, it'll swap them. So that might be really good on Sophia, actually. Since we can use the Dwarven Warbow and give her more crit then, right? Huh. Get rid of that. Let's do that. Uh, swaps Mastery and Luck, swaps Crit and Power. We'll try that. Hmm. Kitara's Chord swaps Accuracy and Dodge, the aspect of music. Hmm. We might want that on Corvin. Elandreas Drift. Magic depleted to increase defense and fortitude. Okay, that that seems bad unless we want to use that on Monroe, and even then it seems kind of bad. Oh, maybe we use it on one of our priests to keep them alive better. Huh. But doesn't that make us worse at healing? So, hmm. Okay, counterattack damage increased by 25%. Basha Sanguination, it's chill. Okay, so yes, and we don't have to use these, but in general they're pretty nice to have. So Marin, hmm. even if we just give somebody resistance to something, that's not bad. Hmm. True speed doubled when below 30% HP. Actually, that seems pretty good for her in some ways, because that means if our healer is below a certain amount of HP, then she's less likely to get doubled in everything, too. Let's do that. Okay, so if she ever does get in trouble, she should have a better chance of surviving. Okay, who doesn't have... Okay, you have Shamok's Tide. There was something else... I think I already gave it to Ren, but... Critting increases crit chance by 1% the rest of the level. It's probably okay for Helena, actually. Yeah. Mars Charge. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're pretty happy. Aspect of that. Hit chance increased by 25 or 15%. Seems just decent. Swap strength and speed. Look if mastery is added to accuracy. I think we're good with that. Elias. Yeah, this really helped him against Sarah last time. Ilmar's Faith is probably one of the best aspects so far we've encountered. Hmm, Helena. Dealing less magic damage to Helena 
she honestly doesn't even really need that, does she? What she really needs is more defense. Magic depleted. Maybe that's what we give her. Plus hush. Or aspect of dreams? I'll have to check that out. But maybe that's what we need. Since, really, she doesn't take much damage from any magic users anyway. Uh, Alden, I thought I gave you something. Well, hmm. Kills grant more power. Attacking, defeating an enemy. I think we actually give you Solaric's Rally, because you're very likely to kill stuff. Uh, hmm. Okay. Aspect of Clarity. Armadessus Glade. I think that's fine. Bianca. Still good. Still good. Hmm. Maybe if we upgrade her weapons, that's good. If we don't, I don't know what we want to give her. Hmm. Feywell has nothing at the moment. Resistance to holy magic might be good. Hmm. Accuracy and dodge. I think that'd make him even less accurate, actually. Uh, let's give him this, since he has a decent amount of health anyway. Ah, uh, yes, Aspect of Time on Sloan. I think that's fine. Garrick. Garrick, Garrick. I think you have Chainmail, actually. Maybe we swap his Accuracy and Dodge. I'll try that. And once again, there's nothing saying we have to do this. Okay, well, I think we're happy for now. Uh, I did put some Snap Boosters back in here. Hmm. Faust, you don't need 70 healing. Let's get you a corn on the cob. Okay, who wants dexterity? Everyone! Everyone wants dexterity. Hmm. Who's having trouble hitting? I guess still Iris, really. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe Benji. Oh well. For now, we'll call that good. Let's save. And we'll call this an episode, dear viewer. Leave a like if you've enjoyed Dark Deity on Steam. Subscribe for more gaming videos. Comment below on how you think the next part will go. And <laughs> whether anyone will suffer or not. And have a great day, dear viewer.